This morning, the Israeli Defense Force releasing edited images it says shows fighting in the Gaza Strip. And Gaza's health ministry, run by Hamas, sending video it says shows the intensive care unit of Al Shifa Hospital. A shell hit, he says. There's gas and heavy smoke. We're evacuating patients. NBC News cannot independently confirm what the footage shows. Israel announcing an operation to target, quote, terrorist activity at Al Shifa. Al Shifa is where doctors say 36 premature babies are being cared for with no power for incubators. One little boy, injured, was rescued from rubble. The doctor says four babies were born by caesarean, their mothers dead. The Israeli Defense Force releasing images from Al Shifa with soldiers' faces blurred. It says shows them carrying medical supplies into the hospital. Hours before Israeli forces moved in, the Pentagon saying US intelligence believes Hamas and Islamic Jihad operate from Al Shifa. Hamas and PIJ members operate a command and control node from Al Shifa Hospital in Gaza City. They have weapons stored there and are prepared to respond to an Israeli military operation against the facility. Hamas denies the claim and outside Al Shifa, bodies have been piling up. This morning, Jordan says targeting a hospital is a war crime. The head of the UN's humanitarian affairs says he's appalled. And the World Health Organization says it's deeply concerned. The UN says the Hamas terror attacks on October 7th and holding of hostages is also a war crime. And in Washington Tuesday, a massive and peaceful march showing solidarity for the hostages and protesting anti-Semitism. Organizers saying hundreds of thousands attended. Back in Israel, hostage families marching to Jerusalem this week. This is my mother, Shoshan, my sister, Adi, and her husband, Tal. And this is their son, Nave. He is eight years old. This is Yahel. She is only three years old. Seven members of Yaval's family are held. His dad, murdered. This is the last picture of him I, I, I have. Here's so much going on. What is the White House word this morning to all of this, in particular this raid? Well, Savannah, the National Security Council providing NBC News with a statement after the operation was announced. It reads in part, we don't want to see a firefight in a hospital where innocent people, helpless people, sick people trying to get medical care they deserve are caught in the crossfire. Meanwhile, Savannah, an official from the Gaza Health Ministry, Ministry, which is run by Hamas, says staff and patients and displaced people have been questioned for 10 hours and some have been taken away. All right, Keir Simmons in the region for us. Keir, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.